Hey guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are in Anaheim, California at Winter NAMM 2016. We're talking to Chris from J Rocket Audio Pedals, and we've got Mark from Snarky Puppy on guitar here. And Chris, you guys have eight new pedals? Uh, well or several? Seven of them made it here. There's an eighth one that's a, a new delay, but... Okay, so we're just, gonna, we're just gonna work down the pedal board, right, and uh, bust through them. Okay. The, so what we heard coming in was the J45 type pedal? Yeah, it's called uh, the Ford 45 Caliber. It's, it's uh, you know, our take on a 62 JTM 45. We wanted to get that ACDC in a box, anywhere from Malcolm to Angus. And it kind of, that's what really that says it all for that pedal. What are the controls on it? Uh, you got, at the bottom, you got the bass and treble controls and then volume and gain at the top. Cool, and you've got it set kind of midway? Uh, I think he's got the gain cranked right up. All right. Yeah. And then next to that, you've got a buffer. Is that yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's called the SOS buffer. Rescues your tone, right? Now, when you get these big pedal boards going with all these cables, you know everybody knows you get the tone suck. Right. So it's a transistor buffer, and we put a circuit in there to, to be able to kind of dial in the highs because sometimes when you get a waz and fuzzes and crazy stuff going on, your highs can be a little weird. So it gives you the ability to really subtly dial them in. And it's just a nice, cheap, easy buffer. I think it'll be like 79 bucks. Cool. While we're talking prices, how much will the 45 be? 45 is 189. Okay. All right, so next up is uh, Guthrie Traps, yeah. custom overdrive. It is, it's called the GTO now. Um, he, the original pedal we did was kind of a, the Nashville favorite of a Nobles ODR1 type circuit but he felt that it didn't cut through the mix enough, so he wanted to develop a whole new circuit that gave him control over his low mid-range. And uh, I th we think we turned out, or it turned out really, really well, so it's, it's real smooth, um, can kind of do the Nobles thing, but it can do Tube Screamer and several other things in between with a really dialable EQ. So is it the same control complement as the 45? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Volume and gain and the two-tone controls on the bottom. So Chris, why don't we have Mark play the GTO real quick? Okay. Cool. Now, next one down the board, we skip a couple pedals that have been around for a while. You got the Hooligan Fuzz, right? The Hooligan Fuzz, yeah. That's our uh, take kind of a, a, a reiteration of the WTF fuzz that was designed by Paul Trombetta. We tried to voice it so that it would be neutral with all sorts of amps. So it's a little bit different, um, but simpler. All right, should we hear that? The hooligan, yeah. Nice. Okay, and next to that is Lenny. I'm guessing some people can sort of oh, I wonder yeah. what that is. Yeah, we have kind of a convoluted story about that. We originally wanted to create uh, a steel string singer because we already had the Dumble Overdrive special kind of sound, but it's just a loud, clean amp and doesn't really seem sensible in a pedal. So we wanted to voice it like a steel string singer, but with it being pushed. But in that, we created what we thought was a pretty accurate recreation of that tone, but this thing works great to take any other pedal and kind of make it a laser beam focus because of the way the mid-range is voiced. So you can run it before an overdrive or after an overdrive or by itself as kind of a color boost. So it's, it's been become more versatile than we thought. So is it just volume and gain controls? Yeah, just volume and tone. Oh, That's okay. It. Yeah, no gain at all. Let's hear that, Mark. Next to that, the Blue Note? Yeah, it's a Rehouse Blue Note. Most of the people that bought the original Blue Note said they never used the hot switch up, which is the more gain. Uh -huh. And so we said, all right, you know, it just makes sense to be in a smaller box, more portable. I think Mark agrees with that. Yeah, and um, we didn't do the hot switch because most people didn't use it. So it's a really nice low gain bluesy overdrive. Real cool. transparent. Cool. Let's hear it.
Very nice. All right, next to that is the tranquilizer. That's got me intrigued. Yeah. <laughs> I could use one right now. You know, it's funny because everybody thinks like a you know dart that you'd fire into a rhino's ass or something. But we have a little guy doing like a yoga pose because whenever we'd play it, we'd like zone out. So we're like, hey, that's kind of tranquil. You know, that's that's how we came up with the name. But So what sort of effect is that? It started out being just we wanted to recreate a phase 45 circuit because I was always a fan of the more subtle phase versus a 90. And then we started talking to people and you know finding out what they wish they had on a phase 45 so we added a, a speed control um, we brought the bias control to the outside so you can kind of tweak how it turns around and then it's a phaser and a vibe so if you turn the the top left knob all the way to the left it's total phaser if you turn it all the way to the right it's total vibe a little bit of a pitch and anything in between is a blend of the two obviously you know biased one way or the other and then we have a fat control down there so that if you're playing single coils or humbuckers you can dial that bottom end in right. That's a different take because usually you have like chorus and vibrato in the same not yeah. phase and vibrato. Yeah so it does like Leslie and Univibe and and uh, standard vibe and just standard phase 45 and it'll go slower than a phase 45 and it'll go faster than a phase 45. Cool can we hear a couple different sounds out of the tranquilizer? Yeah, I, I would say leave it there and turn the blue note on so you can give it a little oomph because it's loud in here. Sounds cool. Can we? You want to hear a couple other sounds? Since sure, it can do sure. a lot. Yeah. So if you do like slow chord changes and stuff, this is all vibe here. All right, Chris, so why don't you tell everyone where they can go online to find out pricing information and, okay. and all that stuff. Yeah, you go to www.rocketpedals.com, obviously. Um, I, all the new ones are on the site. Uh -huh. We're estimating them to be available in about 30 days uh, from the show here. So beginning of March or yeah. so? Yeah, I mean, a lot of them are on the shelf already, but we want to get them all out there and available. There are a couple parts and pieces we need to order for a couple of them, but they should be available soon. And they're all under 200 bucks. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com.